<laughs> hey guys, I know it's been a while since my last uh, video blog. I've been busy studying for finals, and I had my, my last one today actually, so I'm very pleased with that. And I don't have to worry about that. I can start, you know, de stressing and not worrying about finals and school and all that stuff. What I want to talk to you about today is just that actually, is that uh, everyone, I don't care who you are, uh, gets stressed out, you know. Uh, people get bent out of shape, they get stressed, they get uptight, and it's just, it's not good. Uh, and a lot of times it's because we're constantly go, go, going, you know. Especially as entrepreneurs, we're always doing something, and we may not call it work, you know, because we enjoy doing it, but it still starts to stress us out, stress us out sometimes. We have to remember that uh, sometimes we need to take a break and some time to ourselves. So I wanted to go over some ways that you know you could really unstress and unwind. Um, first off, obviously something that you enjoy doing that's not work. I know you may say that you want to go work on your business or whatever it is, uh, but but don't. You know that's still your mind's engaged. You need to let your mind vegetate sometimes. So why don't you? Uh, uh, read a book or take a walk and just you know let your mind uh, vegetate a bit walking actually uh, is good because it gets your blood flowing and it also uh, releases serotonin into you your body which is creates a de-stressing uh, feeling so that's a good one uh, listening to your favorite songs especially songs that you know the words of they proven uh, in studies that if you know the words of a song it's, it, it decreases stress because you feel like you're accomplishing something and you know you, you have security in that sense. Um, laugh, you know, go to a comedy club, go watch a funny movie, go watch TV, just make sure you, you, you laugh because uh, laughing again re releases chemicals that uh, basically uh, help you to relax. But uh, you could read a book, you could, you know, take a quick power nap, you could just lay in bed, you could breathe, think go outside, sit on the grass, whatever it is really that helps you uh, de-stress will be, will be great for you. Um, another thing is that a lot of times stress is brought on by uh, not having uh, an organized life. You know, I'm, I'm not very organized. Uh, I'll be the first to admit it. I have, my room is like a World War II in here, you, you know. It looked like the, the hurricane blew through here, and it's just not good. Um, but I, I was going through finals, and I have a chance to clean it up, and so tomorrow I got to go and do that. But the point I'm saying is that having a messy room or a messy desk or a messy computer or whatever it is uh, increases your stress because it makes you feel messy, makes you feel uncluttered, and reminds you of all the things that you still have to do, and it's just not good. So you make sure you want to clean that up and keep organized, and that'll help you bring down the stress levels a little bit. Um, create lists, you know, to manage your stress, so you make sure you don't have to worry about everything at once. You put it on a list, and you can reduce the stress in your mind, and, you know, make it a manageable list, because you don't want to put things on there that you can't get done, because it'll just constantly bother you. Uh, besides that, I mean, you just got to take it easy sometimes, guys. Everyone needs a little downtime, and it, it's important to make sure you get that, because... You know, overwork yourself and burn out, and then you're not gonna be able to think. Either that, or you'll get sick. So one or the other, they're both not good. So keep that in mind. Um, now that I'm done with school and I have a, a, a nice long break, I'll be sure to c pump out some good content uh, in the next coming weeks. Um, some things that you, as young entrepreneurs, can actually do uh, yourselves, uh, and new things that you haven't really heard about yet. So stay posted, and I uh, look forward to speaking with you.